here I am, one week after returning from Chile from the uh, Condor Blanco mountain in this beautiful poncho given to me by Surya Vanji. Here we are at the Sen at this beautiful October afternoon next to this wonderful river and um, the river Seine to me every river is a wonderful a wonderful demonstration of Dharma because what does a river do? A river flows that's what it mostly does and by the flow of this river and by the flow of any river by the quality of and through the quality of water we can learn to be fluid we can learn through watching the river to not be attached to any life situation life brings us into a situation and it will take us out of a situation just like the river flows right now it flows through Paris and in 30 minutes it will be somewhere else it does not stop and say I want to stay here it does not say oh I'm very attached to being here in the middle of Paris all these nice people it just flows on calmly and that's that's the Dharma lesson that we receive from the river from all rivers in this world to flow on to not stay attached to not resist anything if we can learn to simply flow through life to not be attached to anything to not resist anything then we have learned one of the greatest lessons this universe can give us the ability to not be attached to the ability to remain fluid in whatever comes our way. Et voila! The ultimate goal of all meditative efforts is to reconnect ourselves in the power of the here and now, in the crisp clarity of being in this very moment. And one of the most beautiful meditations that we can practice to take us into the moment is to focus on the sound that surrounds us. You can hear all kinds of sounds right now. You hear the wind, you hear the waves, you hear the traffic, the cars. There's always, always sound. So if you focus on sound, if you completely concentrate on the sound, on the boat that is passing by behind us, the sound of the waves, the engine, totally focus on that, focus on the sound every moment. And the more you focus on sound, the more you will arrive in the moment, in the here now, because the sound can only exist in the moment. Sound cannot exist anywhere else except in the here now. Focus on the sound, concentrate on the sound, and you will automatically find yourself completely arriving in the power of the here and the now. Et voila! Focus on sound. Close your eyes, focus on the sound that surrounds you right now. As you are sitting and watching this video, you hear all kinds of other sounds. Close your eyes now and focus on those sounds and arrive in the moment. Regardless of where we are, regardless of the circumstances in which we find ourselves in, there's always, always, always a possibility to practice the Dharma. Here we are in the middle of Paris surrounded by people, yet we can practice being in the moment. We can practice feeling our breath. We can practice listening to the sound that surrounds us. We can practice as we walk through the streets, on the streets, we can practice feeling 
how our feet touch the ground, how our body interacts with our environment. We can be conscious of the light shining into our faces. Being conscious is the very central theme of all spiritual efforts. What we are seeking to do is we are seeking to shift ourselves from the unconscious state, from the unconscious existential mode that we live in every day to arriving and being aware. Taking note of every moment, taking note on the, of the breeze as it touches our face, taking, becoming aware of the wind going through our hair, becoming conscious more and more every day, more and more every second. That is the entire focus of all meditation. That is the focus of all work in consciousness. One of the stories that I personally love very much is uh, the story of um, how Buddha entered the path, how he um, started to, to look for enlightenment. His original quest was actually not exactly for to awaken. He was not looking for enlightenment. His quest was something different. Buddha grew up as a prince in a palace and when he was born the astrologers said hmm this is a very very interesting soul that came here to this earth what I predict is this this son of yours he said to the king is either going to be the greatest king the greatest um, emperor on the planet or he is going to be become a Buddha. He's becoming going to become a yogi, and he will become one of the most Im important enlightened human beings of human history. And of course, the second part the king did not like. He did not want to have a Buddha. He wanted to have a son who will take over his kingdom. He wanted to have a future king. So the astrologer said to him, well, if you want to prevent your son to become a Buddha and renounce your kingdom, renounce the world, you have to keep him away from seeing the truth of human suffering. So, shortly after that, young Prince Siddhartha was raised in an environment that was constant pleasure, constant fun, and everybody constantly showed him that the world was full of enjoyments and full of pleasure and the truth of suffering was kept from him. Until one day when he was much older he somehow managed to slip out of the palace and for the first time he saw human suffering, for the first time he saw old age he saw an old man dying <coughs> and he asked his servant what is this this man is suffering will this happen to me too and the servant wanted to lie but the gods according to the story forced the servant to speak the truth and say to him yes O oh prince suffering death illness this is going to happen to you also. And in that very instant, Prince Siddhartha decided to renounce the world and find a way to take him beyond suffering. So that was the exact focus. Prince Siddhartha realized that suffering was a human reality and he wanted to go beyond all suffering. And so that was his quest to find a way beyond all suffering. And in his awakening, um, after 20, 30 more years, he finally found awakening. He finally found the domain, the existential mode, the existential liberation from all suffering. 
and they're just a mantra, the great heart sutra that says, I have gone beyond all phenomenal experiences, beyond all suffering. Gate gate, paragate, parasam gate, bodhiswaha. 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 Gate gate, paragate, parasam gate, bodhiswaha.